Good morning. I hope that you and your family are doing really well. We know that this is the time of the year when we blow the shofar both through the days of Elul, which is a custom, and on Rosh Hashanah, which is a law. And so I don't know exactly how you're feeling at this point about going back to shul. And there's no pressure to be at shul if you don't feel safe or if you have any health risk. But you really need to find a way to hear the shofar on Rosh Hashanah. This year it's only on the second day of Rosh Hashanah because the first day is Shabbos. So there will be public shofar blowings and shofar blowings in residential complexes. Make sure that you have a plan to hear the shofar on Rosh Hashanah. One of the stories behind the shofar is the story of a prince who had set out to seek his fortune and got mixed up in the wrong crowd and was a long way from home and totally lost, bankrupt, really in a bad way, and decided he wanted to come home, wanted to return to the palace. Except that when he arrived there, it was years down the line, and the new palace security had absolutely no idea who he was. And he said, what do you mean? I'm the prince. Yeah, of course. You must be the prince. I mean, everybody arrives over here and claims that they have some kind of connection to the royal family. That's our job, to make sure that cooks like you don't get into the palace. He says, no, no, I really am the prince. I can tell you this about the palace, that about the palace. Nobody's interested. And it becomes quite heated, as you can well imagine. And he starts shouting at them. He says, you have to understand who I am. You have to understand that you are, you'll lose your job, everything. And they say, listen, our job is exactly this. Anyhow, in the heated argument, the king, who's sitting inside the palace, hears the altercation. And he recognizes the voice, the desperate voice of his son, the prince. And he comes rushing to the gate and says, that's my son. Allow him in. The shofar is that voice of ours. Yes, we use an instrument to make that sound, but it's representative of our voice, our inner voice that says, look, maybe I've gone who knows where during the past year or years, and I'm not attuned to who I am and what I'm supposed to be, but I really want in. I really want to reconnect. In spite of everything, even if I've been angry and frustrated with God for the things that he's done to me, I actually want in. That's what the shofar represents. And it's a wake-up call for both us and for Hashem to remind us of the beautiful relationship we actually have Please, God, will bring us the greatest blessings for the coming year. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe and stay sane.